Alright, Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. Today, we're doing Taco Bell. Grilled stuff burrito, this is it right here. This is the Giant Food. Now, I'm actually messing with you, but this is what we're gonna recreate. And of course, obviously, a gigantic version of that, but this is a grilled cheese burrito. I don't know if you've seen the new grilled cheese burrito, but it's got all kinds of good stuff inside it, plus cheese on the outside, and it's grilled. But we're gonna put together a 10 pound version. All right, Mr. Bull, grilled cheese burrito. We're gonna start out with five pounds of ground beef. Five LBs. That's a lot of meat. Of course, went with the 7327 because... It's the cheapest. <laughs> yeah, not only that, but it also has the best taste because... Kind of fat in it, right? Of course, could've went 9010. <coughs> I was trying to keep the calories down, but... I have all intentions on using diet soda to help me keep the calories down. Very lean beef is usually very dry. Yeah, so. it is. Ex it's extremely dry. Um, but I'm going to attempt to get this thing in here. Shows you how to roll your burrito. Yeah, it does. I don't think that. I don't think it's necessarily going to apply. Uh, sure. It's the same like idea. It's just gonna be all of them. I feel like one. I feel like what I should do with it is this will be smooth to get it. The ingredients: rice, cheese, beef, sour cream. And colorful tortilla strips. Oh yeah, Don't I forgot about those. those. There was a lot of beef in one one hole. One a lot of beef in one pot. Alright, so Alright, so we got our beef rolling. We got our water boiling. As soon as this stuff cooks up and boils, put this thing together. Meat's mm, starting to cook down. Yeah, there's rice in there. Mm. Yeah, I just thought about something. I can't make it any bigger than this because I can't put it in the oven to melt the cheese. Unless you have a torch. Yeah. I think I don't need that on. Mm, that tastes like tacos. Alright, so our beef is our beef's good to go. We're gonna start putting this thing together. Alright, Mr. Fool, so we got six of these grandes. And they're already soft, so I'm thinking they're good to go. Grande tortillas. Grande tortillas. Yeah. Definitely want them overlapping a good bit. Like that? I mean, look at the base. Look at the base for that thing. It's huge. gonna be a hefty burrito. Yeah, it's uh, turning out to be pretty big. Unlike a uh, traditional Taco Bell burrito, it's um, got the ingredients the whole way down. You're gonna have to roll that thing tight. Yeah, not just in one spot. <laughs> Grilled cheese burrito has like a uh, all these crunchy things in it. Uh, only the red ones. Only the red ones, but I'm not picking them out. Yeah. Should have went through and separated. Got a bunch of bags. Took all the red ones out. Only red. That does make it very colorful. It does. A colorful burrito. 
And then of course you gotta put more of the four cheese blend in here. Get that all in there like that. Oh yeah. Sour scream. Now, Mr. Yeah. Pool, you have to figure out how to wrap this big mamma jamma. Well. <laughs> oh, dude, epic! <laughs> Here. Yeah, that's not fitting in your oven. We could bust out the propane torch. I just want to melt that. cheese on a burrito this big. Blowtorch. Because it's a grilled cheese burrito. <laughs> and because it won't fit in the oven. Screen the center of your autofocus. Look at that. <laughs> Can you look at it? <laughs> Talk about burrito. Kill a burrito. <laughs> Dude, look at this. It's like bigger than my daddy. Alright, Killer Clan. So, as you saw in the previous clips, me and Mr. Pool built this grilled cheese burrito. It's massive. Remember this. This is one from Taco Bell. And this is for me and Mr. P I can't even pick it up. It's so heavy. The foil would tear. I mean, it is literally that long and this wide and that thick. It's huge. We even melted the cheese with a blowtorch. How cool is that? But not quite as cool as the water in this bottle here from thecoldestwater.com. Make sure you go over there and you check it out. Use my promo code below. Get yourself a little discount and kick some back my way. Coldestwater.com, 21 ounces up to a gallon. Ice cold, every time. All right, Killer Clan, so as you saw, me and Mr. Cole put this thing together. We gave it a few minutes to cool down. I don't want it to cool down too, too much, but just remember, Taco Bell grilled cheese burrito, killer style, newborn baby. This thing's huge, it's hot. It's gonna be scalding hot, just like every creation. It's probably gonna burn my face off. Ah. I even got some taco sauce over here. I got my favorite, which is the breakfast salsa. It's delicious. And I'm gonna put some of that on. We're gonna get this challenge started. Without further ado, the largest grilled cheese burrito ever crafted. Three, two, one. Grilled cheese burrito. Scepter. I feel like I might need a bigger spoon. I'll try it, I don't think I can do it. Mm. It's good. Tastes like propane. Oh yeah. From the blowtorch. <laughs> oh geez, look at that. Ooh. Mm, it's hard to see, but mm. I have to admit, Taco Bell, this might just be better. Mainly because it actually has beef in it. I'm not really sure what Taco Bell is. Could be beef, could be cat or dog.
Who knows? Yeah. Oh, that was big. Scalding hot. Got guts coming out. Little crunchies inside of it, no longer crunchy. I could have really turned this thing up a notch and put like Doritos in it or something. But then that's like a Dorito, like a Dorito soft taco or Dorito Locos taco or whatever they used to have. Do they still make those? Comment below if your Taco Bell still sells those Loco tacos. That was a hot spot. You sure to not want that burrito? You can have it. I just ripped the end of it off. This is actually Mr. Pull's burrito, so. I got enough burrito in front of me. I told him I was gonna make a gigantic Grilled cheese burrito, and he's like, That sounds good. I'm on my way home from work. I'll grab one. So that's what he did. And I kind of feel bad because I know that thing's got to be ice cool because I made him wait till I could use it in the video. <laughs> We're like four minutes in, we're not even halfway. We're approaching the halfway point. This thing was like twice as wide as my daddy was. That's how John Mayer was here. I might feel like John Mayer should sponsor me. I'm always saying baddie. I mean, that's how John Mayer was here. Always Technically, I would have to sponsor him because it's his thing. If I'm not mistaken, I think John Mayer's Canadian. <clears throat> Maybe I'm wrong. Check it out. Maybe I'll ask Joel Hansen. It's a good possibility. Does Joel know everything? Does Joel know what? Everything. I should ask Joel to say the word baddie. See if he says it like Gian in here. Moving 
to lock them. Trying to get more piece of meat. Since everybody always gets upset, Anderson never gets any action. Come on. Come on. There you go. And you can give Marty a little piece. There you go. <laughs> For you dog lovers out there, Anderson got himself done. Nope, nope, allowed you to be. That's our burrito. Yeah. 20 minutes and 13 seconds. Whew. All right, Killer Clan, so there it is. My version of the grilled cheese burrito from Taco Bell. I don't know, 10 pounds, 11 pounds. I really should scale these things before I build them, but ingredients wise, about 10 pounds. Of course, the hamburger cooks down a little bit, so. But you saw the size comparison to what one looks like from Taco Bell and what mine looked like. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Giant Foods. Keep the ideas coming. I get them from the comment section below. This was also in the comment section below. If you want a t shirt or a decal, PayPal Kennedy Collision at gmail.com. Include your size, medium through 2x. I'll get that right out to you. But until next time, ugh, eat a burrito. Just a little one, though, not, not a big one. Take it easy.